Welcome back to West Virginia Homesteading Nana. My name is Chris, if you're new. If you're returning, hi, welcome back. We are still trying to participate in the Three Rivers Pantry Challenge. We have had some difficult days. Um, January the 4th, I got the stomach bug. Week after, I mean, I hadn't been feeling better maybe a day. Um, then my husband got it. So, my husband had it last week. He came home Wednesday of last week, a week ago. Um, feeling really bad. For him to be, to come home early from work, um, you definitely know he's feeling bad. So, then Saturday, he starts feeling a little bit better. Well, then we got a call from the nursing home where his mother was at. And they said that she was going downhill and she was going downhill quick. Um, so this was at 4.30 in the morning on Sunday on the 14th, so we threw our clothes on and drove 40 minutes to the nursing home and stayed there up till like five o'clock that evening. Then he brought me home um, so I could get, you know, feed the dogs and everything else and just get things taken care of. Then he took coffee and snacks and went back to stay with his mom all night. Um, he stayed with her all Sunday night. Um, And then the nurses checked on her, I want to say he said 3 a.m. Monday morning. And she was fine, but I guess he dozed off in time he woke back up at 4. She had passed. So... Um, she passed away. She battled cancer since 1997. Um, I, if you're, if you've been with my channel for a while, you know that um, she had breast cancer. Is how it started. She had ended up with breast cancer, and then when that healed, she got. Was it lung? She had kidney cancer, lung cancer, bone cancer, melanoma, and then here at the end, she had brain cancer. But two weeks ago, well, Christmas, she'd gotten a UTI and sepsis. She spent a week and a half, two weeks, in one of the local hospitals. Um, then she was released to go back to the nursing home, and when he went to visit her a week ago yesterday on Tuesday, I can't think of what day that was, they talked, they had, a, he said they had a wonderful conversation, um, and then we got that call this past Sunday morning, and she passed away Monday morning, so... We're not sure if it was the brain cancer or the sepsis that took her, but her her body just shut down. She was 10 days shy of her 84th birthday. Her birthday would be next week on the 25th. So 
What I'm asking is that you just keep my husband and his sisters in your prayers. Um, he has three sisters and a brother, but his youngest sister and youngest brother had not talked to their mother in seven years. Um, yeah, just a dispute that happened and they, they quit talking to her. So, you know, that's on them. That's their conscience, but um, it's not here or there. Um, I'm coming today because, you know, we are doing the pantry challenge. I just kind of wanted to give you an update on why I haven't been on for a while. Um, pantry challenge has been, but we've still been doing it. We, we ate out twice so far this month. We've spent less than $40. We had a local hot dog stand one night while I was sick. Um, I wanted the french fries because they had really good crinkle cut thick fries so he brought me french fries and got him some hot dogs then sunday after we had been at the nursing home all day we stopped at a wendy's and ate it was like almost 22 dollars for a single and a double plus the fries and the drinks but you know that was an exception to the rule um i've only been to the grocery store once we spent $269, but that was stocking up on milk, cheese, eggs, some fresh produce, and just a few other things that we may not use right now, but we will use later. So, um, we got that, but that's all I've spent at the grocery stores, $269. Usually, by now, I have already spent seven or $800 on groceries. Um, so I feel like I have done something good um, by not, um, haven't spent that much. So today I have got hot dogs on the menu and don't have any buns. So we are gonna make some hot dog buns. This is off of Pinterest. It's been a while since I, um, printed this off so we're gonna try it and see how it works um, I've got two cups of all-purpose flour to a fourth of a cup of granulated sugar in my Bosch I've got two and a half cups of warm water to almost two tablespoons of yeast so now I need to get a half a cup of melted unsalted butter so let's get my butter I think I've got some unsalted, I do. Okay. So, here's my butter. We are going to get a bowl and melt this in the microwave. But life, life, when life gives you lemons, sometimes you just have to pick up and go on. Um, we will do a celebration of life for her at a later date. She actually wanted to be cremated and just a burial, a graveside service done at a later date. So that is what we will be doing. Um, she did not want anything in the paper announcing that she had passed or anything like that so of course my husband and his two sisters um that talk are honoring her wishes so. okay i mixed up the salt into the flour because when i pour my yeast mixture in i do not want it to um To, I don't want the salt to kill my yeast because that will happen. But that's what's been going on with me. Let me take, give you a little rundown of what we have been eating. I do have my menu planning book right here. Um, granted, we did not eat a whole lot the first two weeks. 
but um, New Year's we had a sirloin tip roast with cooked cabbage, green beans, and mac and cheese and homemade rolls. On the second, we did a taco night. On the third, we did a pork loin roast with um, cheesy potatoes and um, green beans. On Thursday, when I was sick with the stomach bug, I had laid out the rest of the swamp soup that we had frozen. So the hubby ate that. So, you know, he, ha he had the swamp soup left. Soup leftovers from our deep freeze. Then on Friday the 5th is when we had the um, hot dogs and fries from the local Stewart's here. Or, I'm sorry, Frost Top. It was Frost Top hot dogs. Friday the 6th, we didn't cook. Saturday, or I'm sorry, Sunday the 7th, we made pizza. Then on the 8th, we had spaghetti. On the 9th, what did we have the 9th? I think we had leftover. Then on Wednesday the 10th, Hubby came down with the stomach virus, so we didn't eat. I He didn't eat. I had a bowl of cereal. On Thursday the 11th, we made baked potatoes. He had just plain butter and salt on his. I had, um, of course, cheese, bacon bits, and salt. And then on Friday the 12th, he wanted egg sandwiches, so that's what we made. On Saturday... I'm not sure what we did on Saturday. I think we made pizza. I think he wanted pizza. And Sunday, of course, we had Wendy's. Last night we had, no, I made vegetable soup on Sunday. That's what it was. No, 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 no. Sunday we were at the um, nursing home. So we did have, um, Wendy's that day. Then we had vegetable soup on Monday. We had the leftover vegetable soup with um, grilled cheese last night. And tonight we're having hot dogs and fries. I knew I'd get it right eventually. That's just how it goes. Okay. So I am going to pour in my half a cup of butter. I'm going to take you over here and take you a little closer so we can see what's going on. We do have sunshine today. We had about five inches of snow. Um, so yeah, <laughs> I am not a fan of winter, but we got five inches of snow. It is a minus seven today. Well, not minus seven, but it's seven degrees out this morning. <laughs> this kind of bubble and toil and trouble but um our wind chill is what's so crazy we had a minus seven wind chill this morning not used to having that kind of cold weather we have more snow this week than we had our entire winter last year last winter we only had about three two and a half to three inches Total all winter. And I'm going to turn you around. I'm going to show you what we got today. This is out my front door. Look at that. It was worse than that. Hubby actually has graded. But yeah. Wow is all I can say. It's awful. Let's go ahead and get the rest of our um, flour in here. We're using all purpose. So we had already put three in here. So let's go ahead and put some on one. So 
let's let it knead for a few minutes and we'll be back. We've got it in the oven to rise now for the next hour and a half. So I'll bring you back when we're ready to make our hot dog buns. I have got the dough. It has risen. It only took it about 55 minutes. I've got these all measured out into uh, three pound, but I am cutting off like a half a pound. So I'm gonna take you down and show you what I'm doing. I've already got three hot dog buns in my um, English hot dog pan. So I am just running them through my hand, stretching them out. We don't like our hot dog buns really thick. So my husband's not a, he doesn't like a whole lot of bread. So, and what we have left over after I make the ones in here, I think I'm going to make hamburger buns with the rest of them. We have to let these rise at 45 minutes. So we're just kind of spreading those out. Okay, that was all the dough I'd been cutting off, so. Roll these back and forth. Stretch them just a tad. Tuck the ends under. Some roll and stretch really well. You all right, Lola May? Lola May is my 14-year-old schnoodle. She's just over there laying. I didn't think she was acting right, but I guess she is. She's my little buddy. these set in the oven for 45 minutes to rise. I'm going to put something over them. Now let's take out our just our pan here. I'm trying to debate. Do I want to make hamburger buns or do I want to make a sub bun? Kind of looking at my recipe one more time. We'll just make hamburger buns. Let's pat them out, round them up. We might even be able to do some sub buns. So. Nothing else we can uh, throw them in the freezer. Take these two center ones out. We'll get another tray. Get my towel to cover these up so they can rise. Okay. 
we'll have to set the timer for 45 minutes. Let's try to combine these and make a couple big sub buns. or six ounces rather, not pound. And that, this can be a smaller one. another pan. We'll spray it with some nonstick spray. The pans I'm using are USA pans. They're my favorite pans right now. So we'll put these into this little 8x8 eight eight pan. There we go. We're going to let all these rise for 45 minutes. Then we'll be back. There's our hamburger buns. They just came out. There's the bottom, I about burnt that one. I just brushed them with melted butter. Here are what the hot dog buns look like. And um, we'll give them a few minutes to rest and cool, then we'll take them out. And then here are the three sub buns that I made out of that same day. So yeah, I would call it a very successful. We will taste one here in just a moment. Okay, here's what um, the buns look like inside. They're nice and soft. Um, that is the hamburger bun, so we are going to go ahead and taste one. Hey, we are going to try to taste this. I've just got you propped up in the middle of my um, Lazy Susan. So here it is. Mm. Very good. Here's what it looks like inside. Look how light and fluffy. Very tasty. I would say that is a win, so I will try to find this on Pinterest and link it. Otherwise, I will take pictures and insert it into the video. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this little video. I'll see you again on the next one. God bless.